<laughs> Welcome back, Nail Crew. I literally sang that intro and I had to delete it because my voice cracked so bad. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Oh my gosh. Anyway, show you guys my three week all set. There's no lifting. Remember, I did my nails with the gel and it was my first time doing it like this. So I was excited, but now I'm sick of them and I want to do something else. My thumb hurts so bad. I don't know. I must have hit it. But anyway, I'm showing you guys that there is no lifting, no lifting after three weeks. So even though it was my first time doing it with these gels, I did a good job. Now, I did lose some stones. So remember when I posted this video, I adhered my stones on differently, like I used a different product. And a lot of the stones are there, but I'm just not used to having any stones missing. So uh, I didn't like that. Um, so anyway, I removed my nails off camera. I just filed them down. I did not soak them in acetone. So there still might be a little bit of uh, product left on my nail plate, and that's fine. I always leave the last little layer of product on my nail plate as a protection layer. So that's that. Um, and then also I want to point out that when I did those nails, if you guys don't remember, I used the gel bottle rubber base ink as a base coat on my right hand. And then on my left hand, I used the Young Nails base coat as a comparison to see if they would measure up, if they were just as strong, if they were comparable. And they both worked fine. I didn't have lifting on either hand. So that just goes to show you both base coats work really well. Um, get whichever one you have access to get whichever one is more affordable to you they both work really well three weeks later no lifting or anything like that so I want to show you guys something really quick my two favorite cuticle drill bits because I don't want to confuse you a lot of times you see me use this ceramic drill bit and then other times you see me use this one here they do the exact same thing. It's just sometimes one of them is dirty and I'm cleaning it or having it soak in barbicide or something like that. And so I pull out the other one um, or I just have a backup, but they both work as the same tool. I use it to get right up along the cuticle area. They both have a little safety piece so there's no sharp edges. So you can get right in the small areas and that's exactly what it's made to do get right in the small areas so i already did a very detailed prep video for you guys um but it was connected to me doing my niece's nails so if you guys want me to do a separate prep video so that you could refer to it um, and it's by itself, not like attached to me doing a full set or anything like that. Let me know and I will definitely do a separate prep video for you guys. But today I'm just going to speed along, speed along, speed along because you see me do all this before. Push back the cuticles, remove the shine from the nail plate get the cuticle drill bit, remove the cuticle, the dead skin and all that off the nail plate. And then you're going to go in with this ball bit. This is a diamond drill bit. So it's very, very safe, very, very mild. You can get right on the nail plate with it. And I like to use this and go right on the skin. Yes, right on the skin. If you have this down to like a three, I definitely don't go past four with this drill bit, but if you have this at about a three, you can get right on the eponychium and right on that dried callous skin that grows around some people's fingernails. You could use this drill bit to get rid of that. And that's what I like to do. Um, so pretty much that's it. Nothing special, <laughs> nothing fancy. Um, this is really good for people that get hangnails. I get hangnails all the time in the winter. So summertime, springtime, I'm okay as far as hangnails. Even though I use cuticle oil all the time, right? I'm okay summer, spring. But winter, for some reason, my, I don't know, like this, my skin is just so dry already because I have eczema. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But my skin is already dry. And then like right around my uh, nail plate, I get hangnails all the time in the winter. So this drill bit I'm finding helps to smooth that away and decrease me having calluses and hangnails. So yeah. So the best thing about this drill bit, y'all, is that it's free. <laughs> it comes with your e-file. So if you notice, whenever you open your e-file package, right, it comes with a little kit or like a little sample of drill bits. 
that's where I get all of my diamond drill bits from. I never purchase a diamond drill bit. I always just use the ones that come free in the drill. So yeah, that's the best part. It's useful and it's free. All right, so normally I do not have to pull out my nippers and remove the extra dead skin from my nail. But listen, I don't know what is going on. My cuticles have been growing extra thick and now I'm having like an increase in hangnails and I just I just have to cut this off. I'm sorry. I just have to cut it off. I just have to. It's just so annoying. But the cuticle nipper is so adorable, right? <laughs> I love that like multicolored. I got that from Yayogi. I'll leave a link in the description box because I do have a coupon code for all the whole website at Yayogi. You know, I love me some Yayogi. Okay, so now the tips that I am going to use is I, I love these tips. I got these from Model Ones, Model Ones. And I do have a coupon code that you guys can use at Model Ones. But what I like about these tips, y'all, is that they come individually bagged already bagged and separated. I love that. So you could take them out the bag if you want to and pour them in the little containers, but I like to just leave them right in the bag. And it did come with the file and it also came with glue, guys, a file and glue. So those are the tips that I'm using today. All right, so you know how we remove the shine from our natural nail plate, right? Well, now you have to do the same thing for the artificial nail. So we're going to remove the shine, but just on the area that's going to touch your nail plate. So I'm using that same drill bit, the same ball bit, because it's very mild. We don't want to put scratches in it. We don't want to just be too extra. We want something very mild. And I have this at a speed of about like two or three. And I'm just scuffing up the inside and brushing off all that extra dust. Next, what I'm going to do is apply primer to the inside so that the gel sticks. So I got this idea, the idea of adding primer onto the false nail. I got that idea from Princess Nails by Diana. Diana, if you watching, hey girl, hey. So I saw her do this because she actually has like the real system. She really has the apre set. I do not. I do not. So this is a dupe. I am making it, okay? So we've added primer to the false nail and now we're adding primer to our nail plate and we're going to let that dry. Once that dries, we go in with our base coat. So I'm using the gel bottle ink, the rubber base from the gel bottle ink and any base coat will work. Like I just showed you guys, my previous set, I use this base coat on my right hand and the one from Young Nails on my left hand. And three weeks later, you guys saw there was no lifting. So I just kind of, I like to do those type of experiments so that you guys know there's options out there and you don't always have to purchase what you see someone use on YouTube. You know what I mean? Especially when it's very pricey like this one. So anyway, I'm just applying a very thin layer because remember this stuff is thick, right? If you watch my base coat video, you saw when this dried, <laughs> it was super thick. And I'm glad I did that experiment because I didn't realize how thick this stuff dries. So I'm just trying to brush it in as good as I possibly can and just make sure that the layer is very, very thin, especially the fact that I still have a little bit of product left on my nails from the previous set. I never file off everything completely because I don't want to expose my nail plate completely. So I always leave that last layer of gel or acrylic on my nail plate. So I don't really need to use a lot of this base coat gel in the first place. You know, I, re I probably don't even need it at all. Um, but you know, let's just be safe here. Let's just be safe. So I'm just brushing that in nice and thin. I'm really like using the brush to press it in my nail so that the gels gets all in the nooks and crannies of my nail plate and like really sticks so that helps a lot too with adhesion you guys should try it like really just press it in there <laughs> so now i'm going to cure that for a full 60 seconds pop her in the oven pop her in the oven pop her in the oven and let her bake 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 Hey, they, 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 what time? They, they, they. <laughs> All right, so for my adhesion today, I am using Madam Glam. Madam Glam. Hey, Madam Glam. So I haven't used their stuff in a while, guys. I have not made a Madam Glam video in a while, but the other day they sent me some poly gel and I was like, yeah. I have not had their clear poly gel. I tried one other color poly gel from them and it was really good. That was a while ago. 
Um, and then I haven't tried any other poly gel. So they sent me clear and they sent me a few of the colors. I'll show you the other colors another time. But when I saw the clear, I was just like, yay, yay. Cause you know, clear is so versatile. You could do anything you want with clear. So I was so excited to have it. So I am using my poly gel today to adhere the nail onto my nail plate. Yes, y'all, yes. And look how easy this is going to be. You guys are going to gag when you see how easy this is. So I have my poly gel for Madam Glam. And then as my slip solution, I am using my Madam Glam base coat. You could use any base coat for this, but I just wanted to keep the systems together. You know what I mean? I have it, why not use it? So look how easy this is. I put the poly gel into the nail tip, right? And then I am just going to apply it to my nail, make sure I squeeze out all the air bubbles. Woo! Look at that, how it just stays in place. How it stays in place. Come on. Now, listen, if Madam Glam watches this video and then they start marketing a whole kit of like full press on nails with poly gel and they make a kit, I'm going to need you guys to um give me some coins for the idea. You're welcome. You're welcome. So now that I have it on my nail, I'm just going to cure it. And I'm just going to do a flash cure like 10 seconds or so. I'm not curing it all the way. I'm just freezing it in place so that I can move on to the next nail. And that is that. How easy was that? How easy was that? I am like beyond excited right now. So let's just do another one real quick. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So you see how I have just a small amount in the nail and then applying a little bit of base coat as my slip. And the base coat is going to allow it to just slip and slide and go right in. It's like literally slip solution makes the poly gel slippery so using the gel polish for my slip solution it does make it a lot more slipperier than if you were to use alcohol as slip or even slip solution as slip the gel polish makes it more slipperier but i like that because it's easier to move and go to where you want it to go so now look at that Oh, put it on the nail, put it on the nail, put it on the nail and squeeze out the air bubbles, squeeze out the air bubbles, squeeze out the air bubbles, flip it over, flip it over, flip it over and brush out the back if you need it, brush out the back if you need it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just got excited. <laughs> I just got excited, y'all. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> that song really didn't even make sense to me. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to be serious. I'm going to be serious for this now. Here we go. Here is the middle finger. We are going to squeeze a little bit of poly gel. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, so we are going to apply the base coat just like we did before to make it slippery and slide right to where we want it to go, which is basically thin at... Okay, listen, this part is important. I know that I'm, I'm being silly, but this part is important. When you put the poly gel in the nail, you want it to be very thin at the cuticle area very thin at the sidewall area, and then very thin at the free edge. But you want the bulk of the product in the middle because if you don't do that, it's going to squeeze out. Did that make sense? So you want to apply a small amount of product, but you want it very thin around the cuticle area, okay? You see how I have a little bit that oozed out? That's because I didn't make it thin enough around the cuticle area so that's all and then basically if you get some that ooze out you just brush it away like it's not a big deal you just brush it away and make it smooth again so that is it but guys i am leaving this in real time just so you can see how easy this is oh and the lamp that i'm using my cute little uv led lamp is from the Poddle. how adorable is this lamp you guys see me use it all the time i pull it out all the time it is my favorite mini lamp but basically look it's it's hands free so you could prop it up and hold your nail if you need it to with your other hand 
and get right in there, right up on those LED lights and not have a problem, not look clumsy at all. So I really do like that lamp. I don't know if she's having a special or a sale, but I will leave her link in the description box. Check out her website. Um, she has a lot of really cool stuff on her website. So I think I might have added, I think I might have added too much poly gel here. Let me see. I'm trying to work it in. Going to try to work it and see... No, it's too much. Okay, so I'm going to scoop some off and apply it to my other nail. I hate when I add too much like that, y'all. All right, so just plopping it on the other nail. All right, there we go. And then let me move it out. I'm going to move it to the side so that it's not in view of the light when I turn the light on. I don't wanna prematurely cure that one as well. So I just put it off to the side and now I'm going to brush in the rest of the poly gel. This dupe, you guys, is so simple. Like I feel like anybody could do it, but what inspired me to do it was I ordered, I know if you guys watch Princess Nails by Diana, she already spoke about this, but she and I ordered the XVX system. This system is supposed to be like um, an apre dupe you know, like a dupe for the Apre system, but they are on back order. I don't know if it's on back order because of the coronavirus or just on back order because so many people are ordering it now. Um, but we ordered it like a week, maybe even two weeks ago. And they sent this email saying that um, they're going to refund our shipping and give us shipping for free because um, the shipping of the product is going to be delayed until April. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I was so looking forward to using that system, oh, unboxing it, using it for you guys. Like I was so excited about it. And now I don't know when it's going to get here. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to dupe it out. I'm going to dupe it out and I'm going to get the same look my own way. And that's what we're doing today. But you guys know what? The XVX system, the Apre system, the 123 Go system, the Kiera Sky Jelly Tip system, they are all, I'm not going to say they're all the same. I was going to say they're all the same. They're not really all the same, but they are very similar. The premise is the same. You have nail tips, you put them on your nail with gel, the end, okay? So now they're saying the tips that they use are made of gel, um, blah, blah, you know, they're like or adding all their little extra this and that to make it more appealing. And as a salesperson, that's what you're supposed to do. But the idea is the same, like they're press-ons, but you're pressing them on with gel and that allows them to stay on way longer, okay? So the idea for all these systems are really the same, you know? So you just have to find which system is affordable, which system delivers in your area, uh, and which system works for you, basically, or make it yourself, <laughs> make it yourself. <laughs> so I'm giving you guys an option to uh, kind of like mirror those systems if you can't afford it. Alrighty, so now that the nails are applied, and I left that in real time, y'all, so you can see how easy it was. It was easy and it was fast. Are you kidding me right now? Did you guys not watch that? Rewind it. Re y'all in, in lockdown coronavirus is outside y'all not going outside anyway you ain't got nothing else to do rewind it and just watch it again how easy and quick that was to apply oh my gosh <laughs> it was so easy I'm just so pleased so I do want to point out that and you guys probably already picked up on this but I flash cured every nail for about 10 seconds right and then when they were all on I stuck them in my big lamp and I cured them for a full 60 seconds because the flash cure only holds it in place it doesn't fully cure the nails so you want to fully cure it after they're all on and then I just follow off the surface shine just filing it off because I'm going to reinforce them and make them thicker and I want the product that I'm going to apply to stick now I'm making my nails thicker because 
I just like a thicker nail, you know, I need it for my lifestyle. But if you like thin nails, you do not have to do the next step that I'm about to do, okay? If you are into these really thin nails, then all you have to do at this point is polish them. But I am going to use my Madam Glam system to reinforce my nails and just make them a little bit thicker, okay? So I'm using the poly gel and the base coat just like I did before. And I'm going to prime my nails with the same primer that I used to adhere the tips on in the first place. So I'm just going to brush on the primer and I'm brushing the primer on everywhere that I want the poly gel to stick. So let me speed that up because that's not fun to watch, right? That's boring. We're just brushing on primer. So I'm going to let the primer dry a little bit and then let's base our nails. So I am using the base coat from Madam Glam and I'm just going to apply the base coat to the entire nail just like I would for any other poly gel set, right? At this point, we're going to treat them like regular poly gel nails, apply the base coat, and then cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then go on top with the poly gel. So here we go. And this base coat is, is not as thick as the rubber base gel. It's kind of, um, it's thin. So if you guys don't want a bulky nail or if you just like a thinner base coat, this base coat is a lot thinner. So let's pop her in the oven and bake, 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 uh, bake, bake, bake. Ay, let's bake, bake, bake. One more time, let's bake, bake, bake. That was a remix. You guys know I switched up the beat. Did you know? Did you catch that? Did you catch it? I hope you caught it. All right. So now let's plop on the poly gel. And we don't need much because we're not making the nails super thick and bulky. We're just going to reinforce the apex area just in case we hit or bump our nails. They will not break or chip or crack. So I just applied it to all the nails. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do the four nails, cure that, and then do the thumb last, just in case I have a clumsy moment like I do sometimes. So here we go, just applying the base coat to the first nail, just as my slip solution. And now if you notice, I'm not taking the poly gel all the way back to the cuticle area. My cuticle line is nice and flushed. Let's leave it that way. We don't need product back there. If you hit your nail, you're not going to break it down at the cuticle, right? So we don't need to put any more product back there. Where we need product is at the apex and towards the tip, okay? So I started my poly gel at the apex area and just pat it, brush it, pat it, brush it, pat it, brush it all the way down to the tip because that's where I need it. So that's pretty much all that's that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And look, I didn't make it too thick. You guys know I love me a good thick nail, but um, I didn't make these too thick. I didn't make them thick at all, y'all. So hmm, hmm. I feel like this is a good medium place. This is a happy place. If you like really thick nails or if you like really thin nails, I feel like I'm somewhere in between right now. So we'll see. We'll see how I do with these thinner nails. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so nervous. I'm going to be like walking out with my hands like I'm a little geisha like <laughs> I'm not gonna want to touch anything <laughs> I'm not gonna want to touch anything but these nails went on so easy I'm, I'm just so pleased that I was able to show you guys a dupe for all those really expensive systems out there but if you have tried one if you've tried the one two three go the apre the xvx or the Kira Sky uh, jelly tips. If you tried any of them, let me know what you think. Let me like really give me your honest opinion. If you had to purchase it again, would you purchase it again? Or would you just make it yourself? I'm curious about that. That That's the real ticker. Would you purchase it again? Or did you feel like you wasted your money? Hmm, that's what I want to know. Also, I want to know, how long do they last when you do your nails like that? Do they last for a good three weeks? Are you getting a full three weeks or do they chip off and things like that? So inquiring minds want to know. I know Diana has the Opera system. She has the 123 Go system. And like I said, we ordered the XVX system. So when that comes, I'm going to ask her to do a video for you guys that um, compares all three of those systems. I'll ask her to do that. Um, 
and just see what she thinks, you know, just comparing them. That way, if you guys had to purchase only one, you know where to invest your money. The reason why I ended up buying the XVX is because it was on sale and you know I love a good sale. So originally, it's $120. I paid $60, y'all. So it was on sale for half price and I could not beat that, especially when shipping ended up being free for me. That made it even better. So out of pocket for the entire kit, I only paid $60. Dollars! Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for that uh, set to come. I cannot wait for that kit to come, guys. But in the meantime, I'm going to rock these dupes. And I feel like the dupes look just as well. Like no one's going to be able to know that you did a little DIY version. No one's going to know you DIY this. Get out of here. When I'm done, they're going to look just like acrylics or gels or poly gel. Like no one's going to know that these are some dupes. <laughs> and that is the point of a good dupe. No one knows that it's a dupe. Okay. That is the point. So I just want to point out guys that I did my four fingernails. And I flash cured them for 10 seconds. Not a full cure. Again, just a little quickie, quickie, quickie. Uh, just so I can move on to my thumb. So now that my thumb is done, I am going to fully cure everything together for 60 seconds. Okay? So, and you have to cure them for a full 60 seconds because you don't want them to be ooey and gooey in the middle. And you don't want them to be weak and break. So, now that they are fully cured, I am just going to take my same hand file and touch up my shape. Really didn't need a lot of touch up filing, to be honest. It really didn't need it. Um, but let's just do it anyway. Let's just do it anyway. So at this point, you treat them like any any nail. You file them the same way. You shape them the same way. And you could apply any type of polish or embellishment that you want. Okay? Because a lot of people ask me that. Can you apply regular polish or only gel polish or whatever? People ask me questions like that all the time. Um, but literally, you just apply anything you want. Like right now, they are as good and as strong as any other nail enhancement. So do whatever makes you happy. So as you can tell, I have my little ball bit, right? My favorite bit all of a sudden, right? <laughs> I'm using this bit for everything now. And I'm just sealing in the edge. This drill bit is round, so obviously there's no sharp edges. You could get right up against the cuticle line and really make it nice and flat and flushed without causing any harm or damage to your client. So now once I am done with that, we're going to switch out this drill bit and get my arbor band. I'm going to take my arbor band and file the surface of the nail so that it is beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Oh man, so we're just going to file the nail just like we would any other time. If you do not have an e-file, use a hand file. Poly gel is soft enough so that you can file it with your hands and it's not going to be a big deal. Poly gel dries hard because a component of poly gel is acrylic, but the other component of poly gel is gel. So because of the gel part in it, it doesn't dry like cement like if you were to put acrylic on a nail it dries like really really cement hard so filing it by hand is absolutely doable and people do it all the time but it's a little bit more work when you're filing poly gel or gel nails by hand it's easier because of the gel the gel dries hard yes it dries hard but just not like a block of cement almost like acrylic i hope that made sense i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say basically what i'm trying to say is if you don't have an e-file don't worry about using an e-file. Use a hand file. It will take longer, but you will still have a really pretty nice outcome in the end. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get the top of the nail like flatter. I don't want it like crispy straight across. I do want a little bit of an edge so that I don't scratch my whole face out. Um, but just trying to make it a little bit, just a little bit more flat at the top. Not like, not pointy, <laughs> but just a little bit more flat. So I'm just using the e-file to just do that. And again, you could use a hand file for this part as well. And these came out so pretty. So look at them. You cannot tell that these were a dupe. Like you really cannot tell that these are a dupe, y'all. Let me clean them off. Let me clean them off 
so that we can like really look at these. My bottle is empty. I have to refill it. But let me just give you guys a good, good look here. Okay. Because, oh, honey. Yes. I did a good job, y'all. I did a good job. So here we go. Okay. So here. Here. Look at this. These. look at these I'm going to polish them in a separate video because this video is already long so we will polish and decorate in the next video but I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this was fun I hope you guys learned something I hope you guys try it and if you do try it send me pictures let me know what you guys think I I love this method I really do and I hope that when my XVX system finally comes that I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys know that I will do um, a review for you guys. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.